Hello to all of you, this is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss about one way unwind R. In our previous videos of parametric test, we have already discussed that when we can, we can use T test and when we can use ANOVA. But for the recap, let's see. Normally, when we want to compare the sample mean with the population mean, we are carrying out one sample T test. When we want to compare the means of two groups, these two groups are completely different from each other. Then we are using independent sample t-test. When we want to compare the means of same group, that is before the treatment and after the treatment, we are using dependent sample t-test. ANOVA is used when we want to compare the means of more than two groups. The null hypothesis is there is no significant difference in marks of more than two groups. The alternative hypothesis is there is significant difference in at least one pair. Right? The assumptions in this all this parametric test is that the normality should be established. How to uh, establish or rather how to carry out this normality test in R we have already discussed in my previous videos. So let's see how we can do one way ANOVA in R. We will do this by taking one example. The example is an economist wish to compare the consumption of electricity in four major cities in Australia. He obtained the random samples of five two household persons from each city, Adelaide, Hobart, Perth, Melbourne, and their energy consumption was uh, recorded. Now we will not uh, do any analysis on the default data frame of R. Now we will work on our own data set. Now how to bring our own data set in the environment of R? You will have to click on environment. You will have to uh, import the data set from Excel, browse. I'm going from Excel because my data file is in Excel form. I'll press on electricity, open. You can see now the data is available in this window. I can select which seat I want, seat one, two, three from here. I can also select the range, import. Once the data is there in the environment of R, now I'll go on scripts. Let us see the data. The data is that there are five people from Adelaide whose energy consumption is, has been recorded as 540, 470, 445, 574, 463. And that this is the status that they are native or migrants. Next five is Hobart. Their energy consumption is recorded. Five people from Hobart, five households. Then five from Perth, and then five from Melbourne. So here, status means is a person native of the Australia or the migrant. So we want to see that is there any effect or is there any significant difference in the consumption of electricity according to the city in which the person is staying, and is there any significant difference in the consumption of electricity according to the status. Now, according to the status, is uh, this is a test which will carry out in two-way ANOVA, which will be coming in, our, in my subsequent sessions. Okay, let's go there in one-way ANOVA. I'll attach electricity. What will be my null hypothesis? Null is there is no significant difference in the energy consumption in the four major cities of Australia. As we already discussed, the alternative is a little bit tricky. There is a significant difference in at least one pair. One pair means Adelaide compared with Hobart, Adelaide compared with Perth, Adelaide compared with Melbourne, Hobart compared with Perth, Hobart compared with Melbourne. First of all, let us see the box plots. On right hand side, the box plots are generated. What is the command line? Consumption tilde CT. You can very well see that the consumption of Hobart is maximum. You can definitely change the color of this graph. You can just write down color. <coughs> C23 or you can have different colors for all of them and you can make this horizontal true from here horizontal is true and you will get different type of orientation now you can see very well the consumption is on x-axis that the consumption of Hobart and Perth is maximum now, is this difference between the Melbourne and Perth, Melbourne and 
Hobart, Melbourne and Adelaide. Is this difference so significant that we can say yes the difference is large. So for this we are carrying out the model that is fit is equal to AOV. Fit I can give any name it's just a name but AOV is a command. So AOV into bracket consumption tilde city run it summary fit. You can see the p-value is less than 0.05 and therefore we reject null hypothesis. It means that the consumption of electricity is at least different in one pair. We can use the command t apply. We can use the command t apply. Yeah, we can use the command t apply from here to see which city is consuming more electricity. So you can see Adelaide, Hobart, Melbourne and Perth. The command line is T apply consumption CT and mean. It very well reflects that the consumption of Hobart is maximum. Now if I want to see that is there any significant difference in this pair or not? We are using the post hoc test which is known as a Tucky's test. Tucky, the command line is Tucky capital H S T fit, fit the model. Now those pairs whose p-value is less than 0.05 those pairs whose p-value is less than 0.05, the significant difference in the consumption of electricity exists. This we can very well reflect by the Tuckis chart. The same command you will have to prefix with the plot and you will get the plot on right hand side. Now how to interpret this chart let us understand. There is a line of zero axis. This is a dotted line. This is a confidence interval of the pair. The first is Hobart and Adelaide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hobart is compared with Adelaide. So wherever the zero axis cuts the confidence intervals of this pairs, it means that the difference is not significant. I repeat again. Wherever this zero axis cut the confidence interval of this pairs, the difference is not significant. Let us take off the Melbourne and Adelaide. Now here this pair is not dissected by the zero axis. It means that the difference between this pair is quite significant. This is very well reflected here, minus 296 and it is also significant. Now take the third one, Perth and Adelaide. Here, here, the confidence interval is dissected by zero axis, which means that a difference is not significant. Same thing, you can see Perth and Adelaide difference is just 24. P-value is also not supporting it. It is more than 0 0.05. For Melbourne and Hobart, yes, significant. For Perth and Hobart, insignificant for Perth and Melbourne again significant so all these codes are available in my book which is data analysis using R by Dr. Dhawal Mehta it is the business book is available on amazon.in as well as amazon.com you can subscribe to my channel you can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter for the future videos of R